Hey guys, welcome to GCT, and you heard right, a keyboard add-on for the Switch. Now, this came to my attention because of a Twitter post, which might seem a bit stupid, but hey, I'll put the thing here. Right? It's, I haven't looked for this or anything like that. All, just all the research and things that have been done on this need to go to him, because, you know, go on Nintendo. He has all the credit for this. Simple as. Now, it's not the first time Nintendo have done something like this anyway. They also made a GameCube keyboard, which had the GameCube controls on the keyboard, I'll put a picture up here, with the keyboard attached in the middle, but it was all one solid piece of plastic with obviously the GameCube input, which, hmm, yeah, questionable. It, how you'd use the controls and the keyboard board to kind of just yeah god knows however the switch does look a little bit more appointed for it really honestly um now obviously as you guys know the joy cons come off this off the grip and whatever else if you're using this if you're not using a pro control We've had this discussion, let's not go there. But if you're using this, obviously the Joy-Cons come off, which is always good. I'll flip that back on there. And what this keyboard is, is essentially a keyboard that the Joy-Cons clip onto. Now, there's only one post for this. I'll put the actual um, picture up here for you guys to have a gander at. And honestly, I... Whereas the GameCube keyboard was a little bit hit and miss, in my point of view. I don't know why I don't like it, I don't know. The Switch one seems a lot more like Nintendo are actually trying. Whether it's Nintendo that make it or whether it's somebody else. But it raises a few questions. One, why does it exist in the first place? Mm -hmm. Two, it can't be for the internet because the Switch doesn't have an internet browser unless you have had this thing that everybody's going on about, about it's got a hidden browser or whatever. I, I don't know. And three, as far as I'm aware so far, there is no games that currently support it. Now, the only thing I can come to the conclusion of is if this controller and keyboard is for a future game of some sort. Now, I'm going to start speculation because, hey, why the hell not? It's all good. What we could get is we know Sega puts a lot of their franchises on the Switch. Could it mean that we're getting another Fantasy Star online game, maybe? Possibly. You never know. Also, there's been rumours about the next Zelda game as well, which... You know, I can't see it coming soon, but you never know. Possibly could be used for online play with a Zelda game maybe, or something on those lines. There's so many different things that it could be used for, but unlike the GameCube one, I don't think that was utilised to a full extent, where it was constantly used. Whereas having a Switch one might actually be a better idea. Just for the simple fact that if you've got things like Fantasy Star Online, it's going to work out brilliantly. And honestly, I would buy that game anyway because, yeah, Sega. Sega. I'd buy Fantasy Star Online over and over again, even if it was the same damn game. So, hey, screw it, it'd be right. But honestly, give me your thoughts on this because I want to know your thoughts on this because it is a very weird piece of tech, but its uses aren't completely killing completely clear yet. It's it's a weird, weird mess of destruction and I don't understand why. However, let's hope that this means that the future of the Switch and online play might actually be a good one. You never know. But like I said, all this has gone up because of Twitter's Go Nintendo. If you haven't already, I'll stick his thing up here again. Or his Twitter. Go and follow the guy because he, he puts some, up some good stuff. It's that simple. I've seen a few few Twitter tweets that he's done and it's just it's all kind of like obscure things like this but it's always good for speculation always 
but I want to thank him for that. I told you I'd give you a shout out. There you go. And honestly, all the credit goes to him. So go and check him out. In the meantime, guys, give me your thoughts down below because I don't have a clue. I'd, I don't know, give me some games that it might actually work with. Comment below. Tell me what you guys think because honestly, I think it's a good idea if it's utilised right. But whether it's utilised right is yet to be seen. And even if the US and the UK get it, that's the other thing as well. So, in the meantime, guys, like, comment, subscribe, as always. And in the meantime, have yourself happy game.